guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be about my hair, which I don't think I've ever said before. Um, fun fact, I tried to curl my hair today and I burnt my ear twice. Hence why I don't do hair videos. So I have teamed up with Garnier, which is something I never thought I would say. I teamed up with Garnier to bring you guys this video. I'm going to show you how I color my hair. Whenever I talk about coloring my hair at home, I get questions like, show us how you do it. And I've been getting those questions for quite a long time. So finally, I'm going to show you guys how I do it. If I can do it, anyone can do it. I like to color my hair at home because it's just, it's just easier for me. It always turns out good. I go back and forth between two different Garnier shades, which I will pop in a little close up so you guys can see them. I just love the way they make my hair look. It doesn't feel damaged. They cover my grays, which is my main thing. I get gray around my crown, which I've been getting gray since like my senior year in high school. So it's just something that I deal with. But the Garnier hair color totally covers it up and it lasts a long time. It looks good. I love like the purple reddish tint that it gives, especially in the sun. It just works for me. It's easy. I have kids that play sports and they're busy, so it's just convenient. It's inexpensive and I love it. So if you guys would like to see how I color my hair at home, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm getting ready to color my hair. So excited to cover these grays. This, again, is what I'm using, the Garnier Nutrice Ultra Color in BR2. So this is what you get in the box. You get the developer, then you get the nourishing color cream that you squeeze into the developer bottle. So this goes in here. This is a conditioner for after you color your hair. And then this is a fruit oil concentrate that you also put into the developer bottle. Shake it all up, and then we are going to color our hair. And then you get your instructions, and there are gloves inside of here, which we are definitely putting on. I made the mistake a few times, or maybe like two times, of not wearing gloves when I color my hair. Like, why? Why would I even do that? Make sure you wear the gloves. So I know my face looks out of focus, but I actually focused the camera on my hair. So we are in focus, even though it looks weird. Okay, let's get started. So I'm taking my developer bottle, which is very hard to say, and I'm going to add my other ingredients in, the color cream and the fruit oil concentrate. And once you add them in, you'll see that the mixture is white, which the first time I did it, I was like, wait, shouldn't the mixture be purple? So I was a little scared. It will change color over just like a few minutes time. You can start putting it on when it's white. You can wait if you want to. Watch this. <laughs> it totally shot across the room. Um, like I said, you can let it sit for a minute or two and it'll take on the color that it's supposed to be. I just go in right away and you'll see throughout the video that it goes from white to purple. And don't be afraid when you see that crazy purple. That's not as intense as it's going to be when you rinse it out. So I do it both ways. I will squeeze directly from the bottle or I will squeeze the mixture onto my brush. I do it both ways. It's kind of personal preference, whatever you feel comfortable with. But I always start at my crown. I always start in the front because that's where my grays are the worst. So I want the color to sit on that area the longest. So I always, always start there. I do my roots and then I will go and do the rest of my hair, which you will see. So I'm using a little makeup brush like I showed you guys in the intro they do make special brushes that you can get at sally's but i find that this works really well or you could just use your fingers if you're really you know pressed and you don't want to spend money on anything just carefully use your fingers or ask your neighbor for a makeup brush somebody around you has to have a makeup brush that you can use so now i'm doing the sides and you'll see a little bit later in the video i brush it on and then I kind of like jam the brush in there to make sure that I'm getting like all sides of the strands of hair and not just what's right there at the surface. I always get the color on my ears. But one thing that I like about this color, even if I get it on my ears or my scalp or my forehead, because you guys know I'm a little bit clumsy, 
Um, once you rinse it away, the color does not stain your scalp. It doesn't stain my ears. It's so easy to get off, which I love because not all hair colors are like that. A lot of them will stain your scalp like a bright red and it's it's not cute. So now I'm going in and I'm just getting my roots. I just kind of part my hair. I mean, that that's a really good look for you, Nicole. Wow. So I just part my hair. Sometimes I go in with the brush. Sometimes I go in with the little tube, whatever, whatever I'm, whatever's tickling my fancy at the moment. So now I've totally done my roots and I'm just going in and doing the rest of my hair. I focus the most time and attention on my roots, but I do take whatever's left and I put it on the rest of my hair. Now I usually don't use the entire bottle. I will use like maybe 60% of it. And I've had questions about how I reach the back. I just kind of feel. I, you know, I just go by feeling. I don't like set up a fancy mirror or anything. And I never really have any problems. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. But it's always nice to see someone doing it. Especially if you've never colored your hair at home. It can be a little bit intimidating. But honestly, if I can do it, anyone can do it. So now I'm just going in and going over my crown one more time. Because I do have those grays there and they can be a little bit of a pain in the butt, I do like to, I start with my crown, I do the rest of my hair, then I go back and do my crown again. Just double duty. Cover the grays twice. It's not going to hurt anything. And then I make sure that all of my hair is totally saturated. And then we wait. I'm going to set my timer for 25 minutes. And... I'm gonna try to find something to do in the meantime. You can always read a book. Oh, this one is a mess. You can have a dance party because you are looking so fly. You can practice your power walking because you never know when you're gonna be at the mall. Or you could practice your supermodel walk. Uh, probably not a good idea. I'm in the basement and it's kind of dark, but the timer just went off, so I'm gonna go rinse my hair and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. Let's see. All right, here we go. It's gonna look like a crime scene in the tub when I'm done. Look at that. No gray. Woo! So I'm gonna get dressed, put a little makeup on, do my hair, and I'll see you guys back here in a minute. This is the finished product so much better like so 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 much better oh love this color so much you can see a little bit of the purple tint in the sunlight it's just a little bit it's not anything crazy but it's just enough one of the main reasons i love this hair color so much i'm still growing out my hair it is such a struggle but i am determined i am determined to grow it out and then i'll just chop it all off so for all those of you that are like cut your hair I will be cutting it eventually. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I do really quick, really quick, real quickly, whatever. I wanna show you guys the products that I've been using to maintain my color. So I've been using the Garnier Whole Blends Color Care Shampoo and Conditioner. They smell so freaking good. And I know it's not about the smell, but they also do a really good job of keeping my color fresh and vibrant because I don't want to have to color my hair like once a month. So this can kind of stretch me like a good like two to three months, which is amazing. And oh my God, they just smell so good. They have argan oil and cranberry extracts and you can really smell the cranberry. It smells so good. But my favorite thing is the mask. This is the Whole Blends Color Care Mask of the same line. I've been going hard with this since about the springtime. You can see I am almost empty. But most masks are very thick, like you kind of have to dig into them. This one is very thin, but it's really moisturizing. It makes my hair feel so soft, but not weighed down. My hair is kind of thin and just like blah, like it doesn't want to do anything. And if I use a hair mask that's too heavy, it'll just kind of make my hair just like blah. You know, it doesn't do anything. This one doesn't do that. It makes it feel really soft, but it doesn't weigh it down or make it feel kind of oily. Love it. I love this whole line. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will link Garnier down below and a huge thanks to Garnier for teaming up with me. 
so exciting. So I hope you guys have a great week. I love you so much, and I will see you guys next time. Peace! I got my Rook and a double helix. Well, I had the one, but now it's a double helix because I got another cartilage. Why do we put ourselves through this torture? Like, it hurts. It hurts so bad. The Rook was so awful. I wouldn't wish it upon my worst enemy. Don't get your Rook pierced. It's so horrible. <laughs> so I have teamed up with Carnier. Carnier? Really? Carnier. New brand. Why am I singing Christmas songs? Oh my god. <laughs> Summer's officially over. This smells so good. I love the consistency of this. See it? It's just like, it's just goot. It's goot. It's a goot. It's a goot. It's a goot. So, <laughs> my nose is running. Oh, I forgot my ring. And look, my nail polish is thermal. This is blue. This is purple. It's so cool. <sighs> <laughs> Put my hot breath on it. Did it change? <laughs> oh, this is not a good look. <laughs> Little bunny. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Why am I so oily today? Oh, my God. Okay. That's a banner. Say my name. Say my name. No one is around you. Say, baby, I love you. Say the name! So the shampoo and the... Conditioner. Ooh, girl, my lips look plump. Thank you so much. Like, come on. Reel it in, girl. Come on, give up some sugar. I'm gonna make an ASMR channel. Can you imagine me? I'd be like, hey guys, I'm trying to be quiet today. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Take it back. Take it back now. Two times. No hop. Left foot. <laughs> Wasn't that a song? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so much, and I'll see you next time. Doodles! What is wrong with you? Is somebody cutting the grass right now?